Well, Chicagoans awoke today to a mid and high level overcast, and we still have those uh, clouds scattered across area skies. They're blowing off of uh, thunderstorms that are well to the west of us, although a couple of showers have come with this cloud mass into Wisconsin. You can see though, the big color enhanced masses are out in the west in the Plain States, and that's where they will continue erupting for days now as we see it at this moment. And it doesn't appear that uh, we're going to get any of that moisture in any healthy manner in our area uh, anytime soon. You'll notice we animate the radar through the morning that there are showers traversing parts of Iowa, not all these reaching the ground, and also up through parts of Wisconsin as well. Uh, we're getting just the remnant clouds off that. But it would appear the major explosion of precipitation will be out here in Nebraska and Kansas, right down to Texas. That's the same area that exploded into activity yesterday. Many of the thunderstorms topping 40,000 feet, producing 70 mile an hour winds in some cases, and vigorous downpours. We've got a high pressure though. It's uh, just coming on frame up here by International Fall and that dry air is going to come southeastward, eat into this area of cloudiness, and push the showers back uh, to the west of us, assuring that we're not going to get any moisture any anytime soon. We've got a little corridor of moisture coming up, something like this, around a low pressure out in the plains, but it looks like as the high pressure system drops southeastward like this, its easterly winds will keep the deepest moisture back out over the plain states in the western Midwest, Iowa, and areas like that, and even in those areas, the showers will be quite scattered. This will also keep our wind coming off the lake and means that uh, the temperatures are not going to go out of sight anytime soon, though we think by later in the weekend, early this coming weekend, we'll probably warm into the 80s for the first time in some time. Here you can see the explosion of storms out to the west. Two jet streams merge over our area, and when that happens, the pileup of air up around 30,000 feet leads to a subsidence or a dissension of the air. As the air sinks, it warms up and dries out. So this is an area where you see two jet streams coming together. It doesn't rain, and the rains can come right up to that point point, but not any farther. Now, there's a wave that uh, is going to drop through the northern stream, apparently staying to the north of us, even as rains go to the south of us with this system through the coming week and into the weekend, and apparently we'll get kind of a dry northwest flow through that whole period with just a chance of a couple of sprinkles Wednesday, but as you can see, this main system settles southward, and the core of the moisture stays out there. So with high pressure passing to the north of us, we'll have a northeast wind, something like this, the next few days, and watch the moisture tongue out west there shrink some as it comes in our direction. Well, uh, as we continue along here, uh, let's go to our forecast and check that out for the Chicago metropolitan area. Sunshine through high and middle clouds today. There'll be a gentle lake breeze and a high from 68 to 77. East northeast winds run at 4 to 13 miles per hour. For tonight, scattered clouds and cool low down to 50 and a northeast wind at 5 to 16 miles per hour. During the day tomorrow, again, sunshine and pleasant, some mixed to high and mid-level clouds. And lake winds will be a little stronger later tonight and tomorrow. 66 at the lake shore, 75 inland, northeast winds at 7 to 18. Normal high, by the way, is 78 this time of the year. So we're staying below normal. And little change in temperature or in sky condition, for that matter, on Wednesday, partly sunny. Uh, there could be an errant sprinkle or two, but uh, highs will stick to the 67 to 76 range, and east winds will blow once again on Wednesday. Later in the week, we'll begin to warm up. We have uh, pollen figures we want to share with okay. everybody, and we'll look at the weekend range that missed us on the update too, Steve. Very good. Very pleasant out there so yeah, far. Though. Very Thanks nice.